Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to make clones in order to make it look like a character is shooting. So here's Giga, and Giga is going to shoot a ball. So I'm going to go and grab the standard kind of uh, when the flag clipped. And when the flag is clipped, you would think that we're going to do something with making a ball and having Giga move it forward, but all we're going to do is broadcast a message. So I'm going to say when the flag is clicked. Um, when the sorry, when the flag is clicked, the game starts, and then we were going to run a forever loop that says if someone presses the space bar, because that's my key that I want. Then we're going to shoot. But in order to do that, like I said, I'm going to I'm going to broadcast a message, and that message is just going to say shoot. And then the ball itself is going to go. Uh, when I receive that message, I am going to create a clone of myself, which sounds crazy, but that's what we're going to do. And then when I start as a clone, so remember we're quoting the ball. So when the ball receives shoot, it's going to make a clone of itself. And when it starts as a clone, we are going to ask it to move, and we are also going to show the ball. So we're going to show the ball, and we're going to ask it to move. So I'm just going to show you that. So watch what happens if I run it, go, and you can see there we've got that. So I forgot a couple things on purpose. Uh, I need the moving to happen forever, so I'm going to put a forever loop. So the ball showed up, but it also showed up in the wrong place. And so I'm going to have the ball go to Giga and then move. So this, the ball is going to start at Giga and then it's going to move forever. And then I want one more thing. I want to say if the ball touches the edge. So if the ball, sensing, touches the edge of the screen, then we want the ball to go away. Because if we don't do this part I'm doing right now, what's going to happen is we're going to have a whole bunch of balls on the screen trying to move, and that's going to take up a whole bunch of computer resources, and it's going to wind up crashing the computer. So when it touches the edge, we want to delete this clone. So what we have here is all about clone. When when we start as a clone, show, go to giga, forever move. If touching edge, then delete this clone. Let's see if it works. So, we'll run it, and sure enough, we have Giga shooting across the screen. And I can alter the size of the ball, I can add an enemy in there, and if the ball hits the enemy and makes the enemy go away, there's all kinds of things I can do.